the court. <laughs> All right, we're about to get underway. Congratulations to the championship game. Thank you. Central Michigan on the right, Grand Valley on the left, wearing black. Here we go. And we're underway. National title game from Richmond, Virginia. Central Michigan got a huge ball advantage. Yep. They got eight, of, eight out of the ten. That's good. CNU, right off the bat with ball advantage. Dylan. Dylan. Never mind. All right. Nobody out yet. Top two teams in the country. They got the top two seeds today in bracket play. Oh, man. And, oh, my goodness. And we got a laptop got hit with the ball. The trophy got hit with the ball. Trophy's okay, uh, though, for anyone concerned. Hard-hitting match already. Central Michigan down a couple players already. Meisel pushing up on the left side. Captain for Grand Valley. Makes a throw, no good. Oh, Riley whips a sidearm one and it floats too high. Yeah, he's a lot of great players. Yeah, a lot of great players on the court. They're, they've got to be exhausted. We've been two straight long days of dodgeball and we're finally narrowed down to the top two teams. Grand Valley only, oh no, it's five balls on five balls. So it's even right now, uh, Central Michigan, two people in the outline. Grand Valley looks like they only have one. Riley steps up, and he doesn't catch it. Aaron Kraft had to catch it, he just missed it. Oh, nice save by my good boy, Hunter Jeff. We, it's Tough play pretty there. clear who's Central and who's Grand Valley. You can tell by if they thought he was out or if they thought he wasn't. Nick Watson steps out. Uh, looks like he barely got clipped there, but uh, on his play to step out of bounds. Once again, as well. this is 12 on 12 dodgeball, full basketball court, two 25 minute halves. You earn a point every time you eliminate the entire other team. Oh, right in the feet. Highest score at the end of the game wins the game. Good luck by Ben. And a throw on Sam Stockdale. He blocks it easily. And the pitch off. Number 44. Great hit for Sam. Pretty even right now when it comes to how many players are left on each side. CMU steps in, stepping up to throw. Kobus with the throw. Easy block though for Grand Valley. The more attractive, more talented for in Grand Valley's history, for sure. That's true. Dangerous play. Yeah. He has a lot to live up to. Oh, oh man. Six. Good hit by Grand Valley. Grand Valley playing good in transition, just as they did at the start of their final four game against Saginaw Valley. Yep. See, CMU broadcast. Technically, that's uh, Jake Lesky also is live right now. If you want to look from a different angle, he's from the corner of the court. We're going back and forth uh, from the middle. Riley pushing up in the middle. Uh, Mudge, number 18, on the left side is a great thrower. One of their hardest throwers on their team. Central one two three. A lot of Riley at the center taking control. Absolutely, final game. Everyone and commanding his team around him. And, and he has he has the ability to just take over a point. Uh, so you always, anytime he's in the game, you know it's it's not over for Central. They could still win that point. Grant Weber on the far right side, in my opinion, Another the second veteran. best player on Central Michigan this season. Uh, he's a really tough out, and Brandon Meisel is running him down. Brandon Meisel and Grant Weber are going at each other on that far side. Probably hard to see from this angle. Grand Valley's doing a very really good job so far of keeping those balls and putting them back to keep that advantage up. Oh, let's get a CMU for a second on this bias Grand Valley guy. Hey, you got, you got the neutral VCU individual. So bad. All right, so Central's in a little bit of a pickle now where they once had a huge balls advantage at the beginning of the game. They're now down to your two balls. And Grand Valley is just waiting in the wings to try Grand Valley not quick enough to get a transition out. Oof. Oh, man. Oof. Good 
dodge in the corner by number 44 of Central Michigan. Yeah. My bad. <coughs> Hobus stepping up to make a throw. One of their hardest throws. Couldn't get a good throw off. A couple wasted Gotta be smart if you're Grand Valley. You wasted two throws, two solo throws, and neither one even connected with the target. Gotta be smart. Mike Riley's stepping back right now and letting, letting them go. Yeah, Cliff, uh, one of the top top five or six players on each team just got hit. Terrence Spears stopped playing Fortnite for this. That's when you know it's real. <laughs> hey. The only thing better than Fortnite is college dodgeball, I'm told. Yeah, that's why we're here. Riley with the throw. I think they counted it. It got past the line. <laughs> nice block by Aaron. It does that like from time to time. Grand Valley is currently sitting with eight players on the court. Central Michigan down to six. Yep. Really dangerous territory for them. One less player and they'll be on a ten second clock. Yeah. Oh, a drop? Ah, 20 out. Dellen got hit there. I didn't catch it. Uh, one of the balls just came in. Central Michigan is down to the 10 count. They have five people left. Oh, he hurt oh, it. Oh. A nice catch by Grant Weber. That's a good play. Hey, yep, at that point, when you got three throws on you, you yep. got to just get a catch. You know you're going to get yeah, a catch. Ben Smart, ben Smart stepping up again. Ben Smart dominated towards the end of the Saginaw game, and he's doing the same right now. Yeah. Anytime you throw at him, he's going to catch it. That catch, though, did bring in Kevin. Oh, not oh. that time. Nice play by Kevin Wynn knocking him out. Oh, Brandon Mitchell in the neck. Mean mug by Brandon Mitchell after that hit. Colby's nice throw. Seamus still with three what? solid players left. Hard hitting game. Yeah, we're gonna have to yeah. keep expecting those No props, one is dude. safe. The camera isn't safe. The laptop isn't safe. The trophy is definitely not safe. Yeah. And obviously, no one's faces are safe. Oh, picked off. Nice play by Blake Clevenger. Two players remain for, for Central Michigan, but one of them is Mike Riley. Probably the, the uh, top candidate for MVP all season long, so you cannot count them out. Team throw on Riley. Dodges all. He's out. He stepped out. Hold on. They had a stop play. Injury. Couldn't tell if he hurt himself when he landed. His knee was his knee was yeah. twisted to the side when he tried to dodge that. But I think it was it, more of just a split. Yeah. Uh, it's, the, it's the national title game. If you have to do the splits and, and hurt yourself a little bit to dodge hey, a ball, West, you're going to do it. West, I don't blame him one bit. One player left for Central Michigan against uh, seven for Grand Valley State. Team throw coming up. Good dodges. Great dodges by that guy. He's got to be a hero here, though. He's, he's looking for a catch. At this point, when you look at the outline, one of Central's best players, Austin Breggy, is the next player in. So if he can get a catch. Ah, no catch. Central, Central Michigan goes down in about nine minutes. We got six. Yeah, so eight minutes. 16.50 left in the first half. Grand Valley leads 1-0. I'll tell you the biggest thing right there, Grand Valley was just able to get a lot of quick counter and transition kills. Yeah, Central and they, Michigan had absolutely no answer. It's very similar to how we said they were playing with uh, yep. the Saginaw Valley game. That's exactly what they have to do. And when you're clipping people in the feet in transition, it's so difficult to get low and block for yourself in that scenario. Central Michigan couldn't get back quick enough so many times, and that's how a lot of their players got out. 16.50 remains, first half. All right, GV, now you could score. Oh. Definitely a chance. Uh, we've seen a lot of leads blown this tournament. A lot Thank of crazy you, games. For help. Ball control is greater than you know, yep, ball control. Absolutely. Grand Valley didn't have ball control to start the point, but they played smart for those first couple minutes. So you like they, Brandon's they sportsmanship, snagged. I definitely agree. Yeah. He thought Riley might be hurt, so he... Well, and he can relate after he hurt his knee playing dodgeball before. Uh, towards he, ACL. He, he has a knee. Yeah, he did not want to see even, even a competitor have that happen to him. Oh. Oh. And... 
Lost the ball. Yeah, no one did get her third get wow. out, though. Watson also got hit. Almost a nice, almost a nice shot from Dean Tuber Jr. Luckily, Meg was able to get a block in there. Central is going to be looking to be on the attack now. But broken the way out. The balls are about even, though. A quick, a quick throw from Brandon Meisel does not connect. Looks like they're going to just be trading quick blows to each other. Ooh. Looks like Grand Valley, for the most part right now, is content to uh, sit on their back line. Yeah, force. You gotta force the other team's hand in a way. Yep. Kobish comes in with a throw, misses. Yep. Tubergen counters, also misses. Tubergen. Tuber Tubergen? Yeah. Tubergen. Alright, well, I'm going to. Hey, that's fine. He's married number one for Grand Valley State. I mean, his last name on the jersey is Lakers, so. Yes. Little lull in the action here. Yeah. Waiting to see whose throw it is. The throws are going to be pretty, pretty much even. Grand Valley's following up Central's throws yeah, within a second yeah. or two. What were you going to say, Hunter? Yeah. I tell you what, though. If I'm Grand Valley, I think I try to push the pace a little bit more, like this right here. Wait a little bit. Push this back. Because Central's been playing with only 12 players this entire weekend. Meanwhile, yeah. Grand Valley has a full 18. Yeah, their legs have to be tired. Their arms have to be tired. It's, it's been a long time. In, in the same, similar argument, they've been getting them out in the transition. So if they're forcing that transition, yeah. pushing CMU to that front line, yeah. trying to catch them as they back up, that's what's been working for them so far. Yeah, when you, when you think about this is, this is the seventh game for both teams this weekend, uh, you're going to have some heavy legs. Uh, Blake just got hit. Woo! That one almost took out the camera. But it did. But it did not. We got a tripod. Pretty even, even point right now, but I feel like Central has just a little bit of an advantage when it comes to yeah. the way that they're playing. Oh, Greg got hit. I did not see how he got hit. He got clipped in the foot from Brandon Meisel, GBSU's captain, on a quick counter throw. Oh. Nice look by Sam Stockdale. One thing Grand Valley's doing really well so far this game is they're not leaving themselves open for free hits for Central Michigan. They're not true. giving Central any free anything free. They're also not wasting more balls than they have to. Yep. Only I've only seen on two occasions this entire game and that one. It was worth it. Uh, they got the out. So Central Central with seven balls now out of the ten total. Huge ball advantage. You got to set up a team throw, pick someone off, make it. Oh, you got to catch him still. Catch yep. yeah. Hey, who threw the catch? That was. Hey, who got caught? Who got caught? Was off? Riley threw the catch? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's huge. huge. Riley threw the catch. So what happened there was he got hit by two balls, but Ben Smart caught the other one before the one that hit him was became dead. The ball's not yeah. dead until it hit him. It the ground off of your body. Yep, so the player is not dead until the ball that hit them also becomes dead. So he was able to make that catch on Riley, which is a huge swing in the game. Yeah. Oof. That's a trade I'll take. That's a trade I take any day. Yeah. Nice transition play by Grand Valley rookie Josh Hill on the left side. Picked off one of uh, one of Central Michigan's veterans. Colvis stepping up. Good look. Good luck by Colbert. Yeah. Looks like Central's down to six players. What are you thinking? Well, honestly, I'm really surprised by how quickly they Yeah. Honestly, honestly, yeah. It's, it seems a little bit a little bit sloppy for Central Michigan. Not, not terribly so, but they're not protecting the cross as well. They're not really communicating them out either. Oh, and a catch by aircraft. And that put, that's going to put uh, Central Michigan down to five players. Yeah, which it becomes the 10 clock. What we have here is we have, we have 15 second shot clock for each team. You have to make at least one throw in that time span. But once you go down to five players or less, the shot clock turns to 10 instead of 15. So they're at a huge disadvantage right now. And Grand Valley has the no, advantage. But to Hunter's point, yes, Central's played a little bit sloppy, but it hasn't been egregious. The issue is when you're playing another top team, any small thing that you, any inches that you give the other team, they're going to take advantage of. 
And Stockdale looking for the cross, doesn't get it. Oh, and they picked off number one. Brandon was and going for number 44, and he missed him and got someone behind him. That, and that's that's just indicative of, of what today is. Yep. Grand Valley. Is this the finals? A... Yes, this is the national championship game. Grand Valley against Central oh. Michigan. 1-0 Grand Valley right now. Yep. What were you no, saying? Like Grand Valley and Central are both top teams. We're saying how what it looks like Central might be playing a little sloppy. They are. And on the other hand, Grand Valley it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, they're it's running just, on all cylinders right now. Yeah. Very few mistakes. Yeah, it, when you when you play with discipline, good things happen. I'll tell you what, another really big thing. Grand Valley has only thrown one yesterday. Oh, what a throw! You got team caught. You got team caught. We also got hit. We also got hit by another ball, but bringing another player back. Ah, uh, no, they can't. Oh, they said, he, they, called yeah, they said it. They said it was only the one that hit him. That's a big swing. Oh, and Alex. Oh man. Bad. That was a big catch by Brandon right there. I tell you, Brandon Miser has been playing Brandon, very well. Yeah, he really is making a case. He's for been playing MVP. like a man with two good knees. Yeah, he really has. Sam Stockdale. Oh, well, they Hello? kept Casey in. So they, it looked like he stepped out. It, and he thought he stepped out, but the, the ref said he kept his foot in, so he's still in the game. Brandon got a huge ball advantage. See a team throw here. Doesn't hit him, and he keeps his, his right another, foot in. Another chip doing the uh, yeah. splits over there. For those unaware, we play with soft boundaries where you, you can keep one foot in and step out with the other foot. And he's in the booth with me. In the booth with me. You guys go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Yeah, my name's Hunter Ford. Uh, I'm president and captain for BC's team. Uh, I guess at this point I might as well say former president and captain. Yep. Current score is 1-0 Grand Valley. Yep, and then to my left, another Grand Valley alumni. Yeah, Tyler Elkinson has played uh, on the last five uh, team, five years of the uh, teams we've sent here to uh, the Nationals. But also, we do want to say a big Pat thanks. Pat Big thanks to Hunter for all the work he put in yeah. this weekend. It really has gone off. Without a hitch, for yeah. us at least, I'm sure he's dealt with a lot of problems. Yeah, so oh, and that's a catch. That's a catch for Kraft. Two players left for Central. Realistically, this this venue has been great. Unbelievable. We appreciate it. A catch and out for number six. Yep, and he steps out. Yep. So Hunter, as director of Nationals, secured this venue and everything, setting up Nationals, and it has been, I would say, the best Nationals yet to date in the NCAA. Sure. Same with me. Right. Joe Kovis keep doesn't reach for it. Oh. Kevin, just because we went to GDSC doesn't mean we have bias. I feel like we are so <laughs> openly yeah. portrayed. I mean, we are rooting for Grand Valley, but at the same time, if Tom's making a play, I'd give them credit. Well doesn't let up one bit with that throw. And Absolutely in no that scenario, that. he's not giving himself up. Joe Kovis jumped up and was looking for the catch. The ball was right there. He actually could have caught it. He got his hand on the ball. But you gotta wind up and throw on that game. You, no, you gotta throw. You can't It's the off. title game. He stays alive. Kevin wins. That ball bounced right before he hit him, so he's safe. In that, like, uh, some people might say that Brandon should have let up. But realistically, Ooh. in a scenario. Oh, and he gets Kevin win out. In a scenario like that, you can't let point up. Grand because Valley. if you let up, they're gonna catch it. Yeah. I give him the point. Yeah, so. Uh, you, you saw no complaining from Joe Kovic during, yeah. like after that because he knows the situation. He knows it's a title game. You've got to give everything if you're going to get someone out. And he almost caught the ball. Eight minutes. Yeah, no, Eight he minutes. did. Eight and minutes remain. They just gave the point to Grand Valley. Right there at the end, there was a little bit of a dispute. Brandon Meisel got hit as he was running the throw uh, at Kevin Wynn. But the ball that hit Brandon Meisel did not touch the ground before he released his. So his throw was still live, and it hit Kevin Wynn in the back. Uh, so both players are out in that scenario. Fair trade for Grand Valley because they got the point out of it. Hey, Colin, get the tape off the floor before it starts, too. So Central yeah. finding themselves in a hole early down to eight minutes left. But honestly, I still won't count them out at all. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they put up they put up like five points. They put up five points on Grand Valley before, and they have the series 
these teams have played each other a total of five times already going into this tournament. Five times this year. Yeah, the Central has won four of those meetings. And by pretty decisive margin as well. So yeah. we'll see where we'll see where this ends up going. But. Real quick, let's give shout outs to all the sponsors. First off, uh, Savage Apparel Company, which uh, provides uh, jerseys for any team that wants jerseys in college dodgeball. Uh, they also are the sponsor of this specific tournament uh, because they are based right here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, so huge shout out to them. They gave our, us all-star jerseys, everything like that. Hunter, you want to go through any of the other? Uh... Yeah, sure. Also a special shout out to District 5 who helped make a great donation. Uh, and it was a really great time having the teams go and visit there last night. Um, so. Uh, special props to District 5 and then additionally Richmond Region Tourism were really instrumental in helping us set up some of our media promotion along with uh, helping us with our hotel deals yeah. so great stuff yeah, and of course USA Dodgeball the uh, umbrella um, entity if you will for uh, the NCDA um, helping set this all up here we go point three is underway and it hit both ways Crap hit us and Greggy. They tried to say he's out, but it, it hit the ground. It's getting chippy a little bit. No. But as Hunter was saying, you can't count Central out here. I've seen them take points against Grand Valley in five minutes. Yep. Uh, and there's eight minutes left in the half. 7.30 left yeah, in the seven and a half. Yeah, 7.30 left in the half. They can make this a 2-1 game by halftime. That's... That's anyone's ball game. Jamie, you came back from down 2-0 earlier today. Even 2-0. Uh, even VCU you did as well. Even 2-0 is set. Like, two points is very doable. 2-0 isn't, isn't a big hole between these two teams at all. No, not with the amount of firepower on both teams when it comes to their offensive play. Things can happen quickly. Mm -hmm. And Central can play faster than almost any team in the league. Yep. We're up to four, 504 uh, viewers. That's our peak for the day. The final four game had up to 484, so that's our second best. 514 now. There we go. I don't know what they're talking about over there. Slow point so far when it comes to how many people are getting out. There's only yeah. one guy out on each side right now. So, uh, oh no. Never mind. Hey. See if you just sent another one out. I think that's what they were disputing on the far side. Yeah. Okay, you can't, you can't. Okay. How much time is left when the second point happens? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. I tell you, that is the biggest thing that I've observed so far is that I think in total Grand Valley has thrown three catches. Grand Valley has only thrown three catches, and two of them were team catches. Incredible versus, discipline. Versus Central Michigan, who has had to have thrown well over ten. Yeah. Far, at least it feels like right. CMU, they've made the finals four straight years. Four straight years, and they've been historically a great catching team. I would say they're more balanced this year than they used to be. They have a lot of good arms, but still. When you're only throwing three catches over the first two points to Central Michigan, that's a win for me. Oh my god! It's down there though! Get that ball! Get the ball! Two all Grand Valley is the score right now for anyone who's just joining us. Uh, what do we have for time left in the half? 527. 527 left in the first half. For anyone who's not aware, college dodgeball, we play. Uh, two 25-minute halves. Anytime you eliminate the entire other team, you earn a point for you. Five two seven. Right now, the score is two zero. Grand Valley State leading Central Michigan, uh, and we're in the first half. Five minutes left. Timeout was just taken by Central yeah. Michigan. CMU called a timeout, and it was a smart time to call a timeout. It was getting really hectic there, and they don't have that many players left on the court. They can't afford to go down three zero. No, not at all, Kevin. And honestly, again, it's the. T as I was talking about it earlier, the communication has been a little bit lackluster for them. Uh, they're getting crossed up and countered really badly in transition, and none of, it doesn't feel like any of their teammates are helping them out when it comes to communicating that stuff. So half the time, you have guys who are focused on a person right in front of them, and then you see guys like Brandon Meisel and then Ben uh, Tuberg uh, yeah. again coming in from the side to do crosses yep. on them. Just so quick, Grim has been so quick in transition where that's how a lot of Central players have gotten knocked out. And Central's already down to five. I hate this five minutes left. I hate to say it and sound like a broken record, but when Mike Riley goes out, Central Michigan 
loses all team coordination, it seems. He's, he's the glue that holds them all together, it seems, when he's on the court. It gives them confidence. Uh, he calls out the plays, everything. And with him in the outline right now, and a lot of young guys in, I just don't think Central Michigan's going to be able to hold out for five minutes right now. They have to make catches if they're going to do that. I'll tell you another interesting thing, too. I don't think Austin Breggy has been on the court for more than one minute at a time. No, He's been and getting knocked out very quickly. One of the biggest difference makers in this entire tournament so far is Austin Breggy from Central Michigan. When it comes to being like most improved players in the league, he has to be towards the top of, of the list. Just by how good he is this year compared to the limited role that he had on their team last year. So we just had a balls over. Just had a balls over. Yep. So shot clock violation against Central Michigan. And shot clock violation results in a balls over, which means all 10 balls that are on the court go to the other team. So Grand Valley had all 10 there. They got to get off an easy team. Shot. Brett is sticking with him for this nonsense. If anyone knows Brett, that's a huge deal. He, he's not going to be happy if Central Michigan doesn't make it worth his time. Timeout for Grand Valley. Probably a smart time to call a timeout. If you're GVSU, you four, don't three, want to throw four. a catch here. Bring in one of Central's top players. Uh, they can they can stall this out uh, to the end of the half if that happens. you got to play smart and close out the point. Yeah. Interesting strategy here, too, because since Central Michigan is down to four players, that puts them on the 10 count. And they called the time, Grand Valley called the timeout after they made their last throw. So they got that five second differential, which is going to force Central to come off the line. And then Grand Valley is going to have to do, go for transition kills, which is what they've been doing yeah. well all day. So, yeah. really good. So, a really good uh, timeout right now. Yeah. Uh, and each team gets two timeouts per half with only 4.30 left. It was a smart time for Brandon to use one of those two timeouts. Uh, yeah, so for those curious, the final four this year was Bowling Green, uh, Central Michigan. Grand Valley State and Saginaw Valley State. Saginaw pulled an upset over Kent State in the uh, quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. And then Bowling Green had a great game against Towson that went to the went to the overtime, uh, came down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And then, of course, Central Michigan had an overtime game against JMU that probably tired them out a little bit for this match. Here we go. Grand Valley pushing up. A solo throw, not a team throw. I was looking for a team throw there. Central Michigan's got to make a catch if they're going to make this a game. Four yeah. guys left. Four left for Central, yeah. Oh, man. Good hit on number 18 by Grand Valley rookie Josh Hill, who's been locking down the right side of the court. Yeah, he is on, he's playing really well. Yeah. He's been in basically the whole time, too. Eisel pushing up. Ooh, oh, slip. Slip. Four minutes! Sorry for the bad camera work there. Four minutes left in the half. They called it clean, and it, it was clean. I was wondering why he was making such a risky throw, but it was because their shot clock was one second away from being a, a violation. Grand Valley counting on their first-year player to make the throws. Oh, man. Michael kicks off number 34, and we're down to just 33 left. Just, just Delling left, and his older brother was a player on Grand Valley. Oh, gets a hit. Gets a hit. Sam's out. Sam's out. Sam, Sam is out. No, no, you're good. You're good. Very. So uh, confusion there, but he's still in. The the catch was dropped. Yeah, I don't and, blame. Yeah, last player left. Oh, Another yeah. drop catch. And this time it's Mizer. Neutral yeah. gets his leg. Oh, I caught him in the leg, though. Wow. That didn't look good when he. Uh, Grand Valley up 3-0. 3.18 left. That might roll over to the it second half. It is rolling half. over. Anytime yeah. there's less than four minutes, it gets rolled over. So we have 28 minutes. Central Michigan has to play like they did last time they played Grand Valley, where they won 5-1. to one. They just need to get a little bit of momentum and see if they can swing it. They can win points in five minutes. They just haven't been able to get anything working today. Second half's going to have 28 minutes. That's a yeah, long time. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Grand Valley... Grand Valley came to show out in that half. I mean, I thought they didn't have that's been for a while. talking about it the entire time. Transition plays have been really good for them. Over there. And then additionally, <laughs> they've just been taking advantage of the mistakes from Central Michigan. So getting some really easy catching, uh, getting some good crosses as well. I mean, this is this has been as much of a domination as you would expect out of uh, the five-time defending champions. So we'll have about... 
five to ten minute break here. Uh, let the teams regroup before we move on into the uh, second half. Again, it is three to zero. Three zero. And second half will start about ten to fifteen, or five to ten minutes uh, with a twenty-eight minute clock. So a lot can happen. Just stay around, and we'll see what goes on. Yeah. In the meantime, once again, we want to give a thanks to uh, some of our sponsors for the event. So Savage Apparel Company, they are the official apparel company of the National Collegiate Dodgeball Association. They supply many of our member teams with their uniforms, as well as other team gear, including t-shirts, shorts, and other paraphernalia. Uh, they're based right here in Richmond, Virginia. And then additionally, uh, District 5, who gave a sizable contribution to this event, we thank them very much. And then Richmond Region Tourism has helped out the NCDA immensely when it came to helping out with hotel planning, along with um, along with some other nice features for this event. So, special thanks to those uh, groups. Uh, was it not sitting out front? I don't know, I just realized that before I was like, okay. Okay. Do you guys want to keep this one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> 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 Literally, I took a set of my students, and I'm like, last year, Grand Night had a hard one, so like, whatever. Okay. So, while we got a little bit of a delay, we can talk about some of the other things that have gone, out, gone on today. Um, and throughout the weekend as a whole, I mean, uh, it's been a very exciting weekend. Uh, the dodgeball this weekend has just been absolutely fantastic. We've seen a lot of teams who brought their A game. Uh, a lot of upsets, too. A lot of upsets, yeah. I remember in the uh, first queue, so we have six courts running during each given queue. And in the first queue alone, four of the games were rated as technical upsets. Um, and then there are also some other really big moments throughout the day. So. Are open. We had nine technical upsets of the day. Most were ordinary technical upsets. Uh -huh. Only like three were like uh, one deviation above. Gotcha. Yeah. So in total, we had uh, in total we had nine upsets over the course of the entire weekend. Seventy-five percent success rate, which is nail on for the season. Yeah. Really? I think it's seventy-five point oh two. No, nah, it's getting retired. <laughs> It's okay, I bought I bought a jersey just this year just to keep my number for another conversation. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so uh, recapping some of the other stuff that's gone down this weekend. Uh, like we said, we've had some really exciting matches. Um, some really notable ones included uh, Bowling Green State and Penn State. They had an absolute shootout. Uh, a lot of overtime too. Yeah, VCU and Saginaw Valley State had one of the big matches of the weekend. Uh, Michigan State has played really well over the course of this weekend yep. as well. So a lot of really good dodgeball, and, uh, even from teams that are surprising. Um, Central Florida, who just recently joined the league, this is their first ever Nationals, and they picked up their first ever win in program history. And took another team to overtime. And took DePaul, which has been um, which has been in the NCAA since its foundation, to overtime. Unfortunately, oh, that's that's the major props to Central Florida. They're gonna they're gonna improve a lot before next season. Ever. Absolutely. Um, and then also some shout outs to some of the other far traveling teams, Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska Lincoln made an appearance and they had a twenty hour, two day trip. So special props to them. And then Northwestern State University of Louisiana also made the venture out here. So in total we had twenty four teams participating, which is the largest nationals to date, beating last year's record of twenty three. And honestly, at the rate that our league is growing, we can expect even more in the following years. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. If you're, uh, if you're a college student and you want to make a team at your school, uh, reach out to us in any form. You can, be, you can reach out to us on our website, ncda.dodgeball.com. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we'd be happy to help set up a team with you at your school. We really help make the process easy. Uh, every year there's a number of teams that join the league. Let's um, go chicks! Come on boys! If you want to start a dodgeball club at your school, we'd be happy to help. And uh, I don't know anyone that regrets it when they do because this is this is the, one of the best weekends of the year. So so much great dodgeball being played. It's the most fun sport in the world. Uh, and here we are, final game. There's Grand so Valley, many Central opportunities Michigan. to continue playing. Yeah. 28. 
Alright, so second half about to get on the way. Oh, oh. You want Felix's. Felix is not. Okay. Yikes. So Grand Valley, a couple of their star players already out. For those just joining us, it is 3-0 Grand Valley right now. They had a great first half for up 3-0. The Central Michigan needs to come out hot right now and play some offensive dodgeball. I was looking to bait that catch. Yeah. Front. He left himself alone up front looking for a yeah. catch. He wanted I mean, someone to throw it. It's, it's, oh. his, it's his last game of his career. Oh, yeah. he's, gonna, he's not going out without a fight. Yeah. And Tubergen takes out two players for Central Michigan. Yeah. A quick succession. But Grand Valley already down to it looks like seven or eight only. Yeah. It was a yeah, like wick open. Yeah, Central Michigan really won the first minute of that. And of once that again, Austin Brady finds himself on the oh, sideline. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I, I tell you, I, at this point, at this point, they just need to get him to stay on the court. Nice, nice block by Kevin. Oh, wow. Hey, this ball's in. This ball's in. This ball's in. What is it? Kevin's out too. That, that hurts. That's two of Central Michigan's overtime six that just went out on that play. Ball's, ball's over, though. Over. Ball's over to Central. Oh, all right. Here's where the fun is. Okay. Are you worth it? What? I mean, you were, you were literally like an inch away from making a catch before you went out. I don't think, yeah. I don't think you were. I mean, if you would have been able to hand it, was I think it was too far. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it just kept going. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was close to that thought. It was close. Let's go, All right. right now. So this is going to be what? interesting. Yeah. Central with what? entire ball control. Oh, and he Grand makes it. Yeah. That's huge. Grand Valley up 3-0. That's huge. That's trying to all ice you can the hope game in that situation. Yeah. The other team gets the balls. All you can hope for is to catch even if your own player. Another oh, catch by Miser. Wow. Central's now down to five. They need this point or else there's no chance. I'll tell you what, Meisel's hair may be terrible, but his game is not. <laughs> Another hit. Oh, and he's getting out of here. Let's go! This is unexpected to start the second half, no. for sure. Well, I mean, the first minute or two, Central was fine, but then they exactly. made a couple bonehead plays, honestly. They were going to make it a game. It was going to be 3-1. to one. It was going to take them a while, but they had the man advantage and ball game. Yeah. Just... When Central's top players go out, everything falls apart and it happens so quickly just now. But it also doesn't help that they keep throwing right to Meisel's chest. I always like it too when I see Brandon make a play because he always looks to his daddy, Kevin, for approval. Yeah. <laughs> <That's funny>. Yikes. <laughs> but, no, in all fairness though, Brandon has been playing absolutely right top today. And, yeah. Uh, like I like it, like I talked about earlier, the biggest key for Grand Valley is so many catches. Oh, and a drop catch by Central. The catch, if if we took stats for this game, the, the catch differential is astounding. I tweeted the stats for the first half. Is there ten five? Oh. Oh, he dropped it. You have twenty four minutes. Central Michigan has to play lights out perfect or else it's zero chance. One point every six minutes, that's going to be tough to do. Yeah, it's going to be tough to do. They've been able to get points in under five minutes that, against Grand Valley, but it doesn't look like they are up for it today. That point happened in three minutes and 22 seconds. Yes. And it's kind of the flip side of what it looked like last time they played when Central had the lead. Grand Valley played super aggressive and it didn't work out for them. They lost a point really quickly. The same just happened, but this time it's Central Michigan that's trying to come back. It's, it seems in this uh, matchup, this whole season, the team that scores the first point gets to play relaxed and play smart, while the other team just gets desperate right off the bat, which Central Michigan didn't need to get desperate. They needed to keep playing their game, make some catches, don't leave yourself open in transition, and they just didn't do that at all in the first half. And then to start this half, they got even more desperate. That's the biggest thing I've seen so far <clears throat> that's gotten us to this point is Grand Valley has made the catches and Central hasn't. They, yeah. Bes besides that, they've, they've played in a similar way. 25. That's a 
lot of time. Still time. Still plenty of time. I, I wouldn't write off Central. My Archer says the same thing. Country if says. anybody, yeah, if anybody could come Sam back. Sam Stockdale picks off Riley. Go ahead. If anybody could come back in a like scenario like this, it is Central though. They play fast, they play hard, and they have some of the best athletes in the league. Yeah. I mean, they look exhausted. They played two straight days of dodgeball all day long. And, and it's, not, it's a, not any regular dodgeball. It's grip 8.5, and it's on a full basketball court. They're drained. Oh, and they, they played... Play like half. My goodness. Yeah. They played a very tough road to get here today. Playing like other top teams in JMU. Yeah, I mean... And Bowling Green. Yeah. And Penn State. And, and, Penn, State. and Penn State gave them a run, too. Yeah. Penn yeah. State had a 2 one lead on Central Michigan in Central's first game of the day. Uh, but luckily Central was able to oh, catch Ross and Greg. He's in the game and he made a catch. You got even. That's what I was saying earlier. He's got to make sure that he's able to last a little bit longer. Yeah. Get him to flow. Hey. Hey. We had half the game here. Good. Good. At least four more. Good. But just play smart. Oh, that's uh, I think that hit 26. Oh. They called him out. Yeah, that's just called him out. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Central actually not in a bad spot right now. Granted, Mike Riley is not on the court for them, but they're going to win this point if they, if they don't do anything dumb. Timeout before the throw. Two balls should go back to Grand Valley. A timeout was just called. Well, the catches team you gave up the rest didn't even matter. Yeah, so back to the point about the, the differential in catches. It's not just that Grand Valley's making the catches, it's that Grand Valley's not throwing catchable throws at Central Michigan. All of their hits, it seems like Central Michigan's backpedaling. They're, they're not in good position to make catches. It's not like they're squared up. Uh, I mean, that is true, but there's also... Grand Valley's putting some force behind their throws. We've seen a number of throws today that hit someone square in the chest and just pop off. Yeah, the timeout before the throw would have gotten someone from Central out, but he gets to stay in. I tell you what, I'm looking at the sideline at Kobus uh, and Wynn, and they just like absolutely drained. Yeah. Like, they, they, you can tell them they've been having a really long weekend. Physically and emotionally, it looks... I mean, obviously they have the ability to beat Grand Valley because they not only beat them several times this year, They've dominated them a couple times this year. But for some reason, they just didn't execute those first couple points. And when it rains, it pours, basically. Like, everything spiraled out of control for them. It's 4 0, and we've only played 27 minutes of not. CMU does look dead. As you can see, it seems like they still got a lot in the tank. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Central is and does have an opportunity to take this point though. They just need to get out one more player from Grand Valley. That's gonna oh! 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 Central about to oh! 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 Alright. Here we go. You not count them out yet. Four. Four left for Central, and we're finally hearing the Central fans here, which uh, there's a lot of them. Four left for Grand Valley. Four left for Grand Valley. I told you, if any team, if any, yeah, if any team's going to do it. When Central gets points, they get points quick, and it just happens all of a sudden. You look, you turn around, and your teammates aren't on the court anymore. They're all on the outline. Like, they have the ability to score points quick, 
I, I'm not ruling it out that they could force overtime, but they have to play lights out perfect. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. He hasn't, had, he hasn't been playing his game. That was in. It's a perfect throw by Brad. And Sam Stackhouse just got hit. Grant Weber, good throw. And number 12 goes down for Grant Valley. Grand Valley, only three players left. Nope. Aaron Smith drops a catch. He's out. That hurts. That's Grand Valley's top player left on the court. Yeah, the score is 4 0 Grand Valley. We 20, have. 20 45 left. Yep. We're in the second half. Just about 20 minutes to go in the game. Central's got to score four points. And a questionable play. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Nice play by Ben Smart. He stays in. He, he understands that any any time that he can drain off the clock right now is a win for Grand Valley. Joe Kobus, one of the hardest throwers running up. Good throw, but a good block. Frankie Giannetto, that kid waved. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did a little bit of a wave after he made a catch. A bold move since he's probably like 140 pounds, and the other guy was probably twice his weight, but. Nope. I, respect the, I respect the confidence. For Grand Valley, though, these are two players that have been in scenarios like this before. And two players that are going to catch. You've got to like their experience. Oh. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, a dangerous play for him smart yeah. trying to catch a double team throw. He's, yeah. he's getting like a little reckless, but he's so confident in his abilities to either dodge or catch yeah. that he can do that sometimes. But in this scenario, with, with, with the lead that they have, with the lead that they had, you have a cushion where you can take a few more risks than you would do. on the right side, one of the two players left. Oh, that's not a good throw. That, this ball's over. This should be, this ball's should over. Be. Oh no. He looks oh, and a catch by Ben Smart. So Felix thought that the throw right before that was good. I didn't. I thought that it was not no, close enough. There, it was, he said it was, yeah, I think he said it was a record. Like, there was a delay in the contents. Long throw. Yeah, so, yeah, but he has he has a point because like there was a balls over and then or, or, they didn't have a ball on their side, Central Michigan. So you can't have a shot clock. They got a ball when Grand Valley threw. Grand Valley throwing means that that's when the start of their clock is, so the clock should have been exactly the same. Yeah. So he does have a point. Well, no, Grand Valley actually should have had a quicker clock. Yeah, they should have. Because technically the count doesn't start until that yeah. ball becomes in play, so if right. anything, Grand Valley still should have So they've corrected the error, so Central still has the one ball that uh, they had prior to the session. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a, an but, official's timeout yeah. to reset both shot clocks. But at least they didn't give the balls over to Grand Valley. Man, that was close to hitting him in the foot. It was. Yeah, there's a great, there's a great throw by Weber just to hit Stanko, perfect spot there too, just draining, resetting the shot clock and then backing up. Watson's looking for a catch, and he can catch low balls too. Ooh, he's, he's going for the catch. And now with, with that last catch by Ben, they bring in Ben, who has been the best ball ball. that Grand Valley has seen in a few years. And if anything, on the court, they're, they're, what they were missing was an arm, a consistent thrower, and now they have that too. So they can drain a lot of time with these three players. We're down to 18-18 on the clock. Yep. They could maybe even win this point when you look at the players left on the court for Central. They've got a couple of stars, but a couple of players. Oh, have by ben. Exactly oh. that. Catchable throws. And he brings another on in that with Aaron. Yep. Central trying to keep a shot out. Oh, is that a catch? Yeah. They call it a catch, yeah. Oh, okay. So he got his fingertips underneath the ball. So was no one's think goes out. Oh, God, you gotta put your knees on the hardwood for that. You do. I mean, Dowling just did that on the left side and brought it Kevin Oh, another catch! Oh my goodness! Just 
shaking his head now. Stop throwing at him if you're wow. Come on. Yeah. I mean, if they haven't learned by now, they gotta they gotta find another place to throw. Yeah. It's Central still has six players left, but Grand Valley's up to four now because of all the catches that they've given them. Yeah, and, that is, and that's the throw that, that we're talking about. Catch of this, of just this it, point. It's either the third or the fourth. Yeah, Ben has to calm down a little bit though. Smart. We hit the 17 minute mark. 17 minutes. At this point, like, Central's trying to just get on the board and see where they can go from there. Yeah. And whereas Grand Valley's fully content to let the clock run. Yeah. At this point, got away from him a little bit. From Ben. Ben, look at that catch there. Grand Valley's Time out for Grand Valley. Grand Valley's confidence right now is yeah, on through the roof. Ben Smart for MVP is what yeah, Jake Devine said. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Appreciating. Brandon didn't wait long. 16 yeah. through 35. Hey, that ball's in the 16 35. So 1635 left. Grand Valley called the timeout there, but one of the balls was not in anyone's possession, so it just goes into the center of the court because it was in the neutral zone. Additionally, that was Grand Valley's second timeout of the half. So, so GBSU with two timeouts already gone. If things get out of hand, they have no timeouts left. But I mean, I don't see that happening. The way that they're playing. I think that might be the message that they're getting in this timeout. Is that look at the this clock? Point, this point got away from them a little bit. They had high aspirations of increasing their lead, but I think right now they see where they're at, and they're just going to try to push the clock, push yeah. the time, and not give Central a chance to come back. One hundred percent. Brandon's just giving them a little perspective right now. Look at the clock. Look at the score. Look at the type of game that we're in. Don't do anything dumb right now and play overly aggressive because all of a sudden Central Michigan scores a point. They have sixteen minutes to score three more, which they can. What? What's it for? Do I have to fill a thing out? Do I have to fill a thing out? Yeah. Can I have his ten dollars? I'll donate it to the league. Uh, four remaining for Grand Valley. Six. Yeah, six for Central left. Grant Weber's still on the court though, which helps. Oh man. Ben Smart is a machine, yeah, he uh, definitely is, especially at this point. Yeah, if you saw the first half, Brandon Meisel was probably the MVP of this game when it mattered most, but I don't know. Ben, ben, ben Smart, how many yeah, he had catches in the first half too, I guess. Uh, Grant Weber goes out, Ben Tudor did not come out. Yeah, yeah. Ben Smart has close to 10 catches just this game. Yeah, I mean, I guess when it comes to, like, as a difference maker, the plus minus that he's given his team, is unreal. Yeah. So you can say that Brandon might be the MVP of the team, but realistically, it's between him and Ben Smart for yeah. it in this game. Good, good dodges by Dowling. Uh, Central has five players, so they're on the ten count. They need to make a catch to get off the ten count. Both teams or are on the ten I count. Wouldn't be surprised at all if Grand Valley wins a point. Now. That's like at this point it was once uh, eight players to two in favor of Central Michigan. And yeah. Now we have five versus four. And not only that, Grand Valley. Yeah. Yeah, for those just joining us, it's 4-0 Grand Valley in the National Championship game. 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes to go, and they're calling balls over to Grand Valley? Yes, yeah, against such a machine. Yep. Oh, and really, this, Vince Baggett, this former point, Grand Valley player, joined the live stream. Hello, Vince. This, this point, more than any other, highlights how important catching is to a team. Yeah. Like, like Hunter just said, it was 8-2 at one point. And some clutch catches by a few players yeah. and turn the tide. Not just clutch catching, but uh, just placement of throws. Because well. when it comes to Central Michigan, they're getting a little too reckless. Maybe they're too tired. They're drained. Their arms are drained from the, from the weekend. Forcing but, a little too much. Yeah, they're forcing they throws. Know what they and need to they're happen. just leaving it up where it's catchable. Yeah. They know what they need to do. But the problem is they're pushing too hard to do that instead of just trusting their natural ability. But CMU is arguably the most athletic team here. In the league. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be hard pressed to find any yeah. disagreements with that. The, the group of athletes that CMU's put together rivals the athleticism of any team. Yeah, I, in, in my the, opinion, in the NCDA. I have no idea where this is going. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not sure what the score is. 4-0, Grand Valley.
We're in the second half. We have 15 minutes to go. Grand Valley scored three in the first half and got one more to start the second half. We just split goals 50-50. I don't really understand why. I think that there was a dispute over if it was the ball's over and Brandon kind of gave them the balls back because they didn't. You know what? The other, the other thing is... Oh, oh, Narrows it up the Yeah, right in the foot. Yeah. Let's just see if they throw a benchmark. And it was, yeah, 5 4 0 Grand Valley. They're trying to make it 5 0, but Central had a big lead this point. Four players on each team are left, though. Watch your feet. It's balls over. He's still in. So, all right. Oh wow. All right. So, so what happened there was, if there's if there's a stoppage in play, like the end of a half, or the ref blows a whistle, any ball that's in the air is still live until it becomes dead. So that throw that was just made was live, and he didn't catch it, even though the whistle blew, he's out. And that was a new rule implemented. Yeah, I think this, this, year. this season. No, it was after it was after the oh, national yeah, right. yeah. game last so, year. So it was implemented. And last it's been spring. it's been a very controversial point this weekend especially because a lot of people when they hear the whistle they feel like every they, their instinct is to stop so it's yeah. hard to complete a play when a ball is all right are they throwing a bench mark oh my goodness oh, yeah. Yeah. and a catch yeah. Valley doesn't want to give up a point they want to keep this shut out alive 4-0 going on five if they can get two more people Catch. McCoy stepping up big time. Oh. One player left, and it's Delling again for Central. He's been the last player several times. Meisel's in, and he's getting the ball. He's playing smart. Team throw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. another throw. Five. Here. Thirteen fifty-three remaining. Are you gonna tweet him? You want me to? Right. 13. TJ, you been looking, bro? I, like, I'm a big Grand Valley optimist. I did not see that. I, I predicted that one of the teams would win in a blowout because the way that these two teams play, is just the dynamic, it goes where one team gets a lead and then the other team gets too desperate, the other team is able to just play their game, and then they get a big lead. But I did not expect it to be this much. I thought that Central Michigan would be able to take the punch and come back and get a couple points in the second half. The first point of the second half, I mean, the last point of the first half is when they actually lost it, but the first point of the second half, when they took three minutes in Grand Valley scored a point, that's when it was over. So that puts it at five. Five, fifty-three. Thirteen minutes left. Fourteen. Fourteen. Ben Smart sitting out. <laughs> All the fans want him to come back in the game. Yeah, and Brandon is sitting for our Ben Smart. Oh, man. Her fan request. Brandon taking it. Looks like it was a group of VCU, VCU players and some other uh, yeah. other teams that have stayed around to watch yep. the final game. Courtesy of the VCU dodgeball team getting that chance started. Yeah. yeah. 5-0 Grand Valley. 13 minutes remain. Ben Smart. Remember his name. There you go. Yeah, Ben Smart and McCoy Wonder Jeff just took over that point with Ben. Good. Oh! Team catch. Team catch. Riley, smart play. That was very As close. Was to, you and very they're going to get too loose. They're going to give up a point. Oh, oh man. man. What happened? Oh, my gosh. Superjin Super had a ball like, pop up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it hit his arm. He could have hit the ball, but it looks okay. like it hit his arm. He got to go out there. So what happened was, uh, Tuberton, he had a ball that was in his lap. Basically popped straight up. Dove for it, got the catch. As he dove, he got hit by another ball that yeah. was thrown in his Crazy catch. So the catch counted, but he also was out. Catch did count, but he's in the outline. Also known as a catch and out. 
Oh, oh. drop pass by Nick Watson. They're just reaching for passes now. Yeah. They're, not, they're not doing themselves any favors. Get a point for pride. That's, what, that's my message. Logan. I'm, I'm that, yeah, there it is. Nathan Ward going for Riley and misses. Okay. Oh man, Aaron Kraft. Aaron Kraft and he got a catch. Hey, somebody on that. Somebody on the ball that went back there. Kraft has had himself a game as well, quietly. People haven't noticed but he's been playing like really well. Another ball here. 5-0 Grand Valley is the score. We have 12 minutes to go still. Ball's over, Grand Valley lost the ball. 12 minutes left. Grand Valley's going to score another point. Even though there's a ball over. Like it's tough for me to disagree with you. The way it is gone. I don't know why it gone. happens like this in, in, in their matchup. It's not against Grand Valley, but it just sucks. You lose one point, you fall apart. Oh, it took him out. Good team throw in the corner. Another team throw. Nathan dodges both. Yeah, it was graceful, and now they have four balls on their side. <laughs> Oh, yeah, these fans love oh man! No, it clipped the ball. Oh. Threw one, but it was too low. He couldn't catch it. Otherwise, he would have. Oh, oh my god! Not, not the most exciting game. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of. Cool stuff happened, but when it comes to this match, uh, Oof. at this point, at this point, it's still kind of time. <laughs> at this point in the game, it's just stat padding time. Yeah. If you're if you're a player, yeah. just do what you can. I mean, you can get your kills. If I'm on Central's team. I want to get a point for pride, just to say you got a point in the game. It wasn't even thrown at him and he caught it. That was aimed for someone else. That ball was not meant for him. Oh, 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 oh team, catch. Catch. team catch. Oh, my goodness. That was almost a, a yeah. really impressive catch by Dellen. I want to see that play in the first point of the game because that was a good play. Too. Oh, good block. We do have yep. a, ben Smart, a another fun catch. fact with the uh, five-point deficit we have going right now. If this were to happen, the five-point deficit is the largest deficit since 2008 when Grand Valley defeated OSU for its first national title. 9-0 or something? 9-1. 9-1. Five points, five points is the most points by a single team in a final since that same day. Yeah. So 10 years ago. I mean, yeah. One one complaint that we used to, that people used to have about college and is it's too slow, too low scoring. We got five points, and it's been slow the last couple points, but there's already been five points scored, and we got ten minutes to go. Yeah. And that's how most games are. Ah, oh, man. Drop Riley's out, out, too. Two of Central's best players. Grant Weber and Mike Riley going down. Yeah. Yeah, it feels, honestly, it does feel like the games have been at a very quick scoring pace. Yeah. Um, I mean, 12 on 12 now. Um, it's going to speed up the game. Yeah. Just naturally, there's less players on the court, but I mean, you also have the dirty blocking that we use now. Uh, we've adapted some different rules that other dodgeball leagues have. Oh! Someone finally got him! Oh my goodness! Oh, that got his hand. Ben Smart um. goes down. What's the current score? The score is 5 0. Grand Valley, huge lead. And there's 844 left. left. It, it got out of hand early in the game. Another another thing, talking about the rule changes, I think we're seeing with this 12-12, or the 12 versus 12 that we changed to, I think it's really uh, shortened the gap in some of the, uh, the, I guess, skill level between a lot of the teams, as we saw today with all the, yeah. upsets, all the upsets this weekend. More parity than the all these, the overtime games. Teams are able to better match up. More parity, and it's ironic that we say that in a 5-0 national title game, but, I mean, 
you saw some of the upsets this weekend. VCU over Saginaw um, is, was the best one of the day, but like there was other upsets. Saginaw upsetting Kent State went nope. after going one and two on the first day of national. And all the overtime games. Yeah, it just comes down to who's going to execute. There's less players on the court. Oh, oh, wow. That was a yeah. 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 Good um. catch by Kevin Wynn. Lucky snag though when a, a team throw. He got low enough where he gave himself a chance yeah. at least. He just felt it and just closed it. Just had that perfect pocket. Yep. Oh. 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 Wow. Aaron Kraft is not messing around. He does he wants it to be a shutout. Grand Valley is, looks like they're down on a ten count now. Yeah. Central still one away. Oh. Wow. Yikes. Rotate your phone, sorry. The ball, the ball hit us. So uh, sorry about that little delay there. Hey, Kraft, don't give up a point. They're doing a team throw in the corner. Oh, uh, I didn't even know that Joe Kovic was in this point. I didn't either. Oh my goodness! Five zero, Grand Valley is the score. They scored three in the first half. Scored one with in less than three minutes to start the second half, and then. Central got him down to two players, but Grand Valley came back and somehow got the next one. So it's 5 0. And Central just not their day. Just nothing has gone right. That's a good catch. Oh my goodness. And that illustrates exactly how their game has gone. Chance to make a play and you don't make it. Oh my god. Six. Coming up ten, six. Number ten six minutes. Out, like six minutes to go. And it's a ball's over. But the catch counts. That's a catch. Which? The catch counts and there's a ball's over. I don't know if they're giving the ball's over. Hey. Hey, get that tape. Yeah, it's good. All right. So, Unreal. Here. All right. First point. First point took eight minutes, ten seconds. Yeah. Second yeah, all right. was 8.51. So we're, we're running through each point that happened this game, just so you know how the game went. So go ahead. First point took eight minutes, ten seconds. All right, let's wait till after they Yeah, I guess we'll wait after this. Oh, and they got him. 6-0. Grand Valley just... Everything's working for Grand Valley. Nothing's working for Central. That's the story of the day. Uh, Central's just worn out. Think about the teams that they played today. Penn State, they were losing 2-1 to one against Penn State. And, that, and the Penn State game was uh, a round of 16 matches. Like, that's not supposed to happen. That was their first game of the day. Do you want Ben to play? Smart. Yes or no? They need to just hurry up and start the point. Yeah. Just shut the shutout. Oh, I guess if we're, if we're, no, we're going for the shutout. Yeah. You got to go for the shutout. All right. Call the game. Let the Michigan teams get on the road. 6 0 is the score. Grand Valley leads. Here's how long it took for each point. First, First point, point game. was 8 minutes 10 seconds. Second point was 8 minutes 51 seconds. Third point was four minutes forty one seconds and that's where we ended the half at. And then after the end, the second half started, Grand Valley came out and won a point in three minutes and twenty one seconds. The next one took eleven minutes and four seconds. And that was the comeback. And then the most recent one was eight oh four. So although the score they came to the Michigan State receiving game. Oh my god. Who did? Uh, one of our local news channels. Oh, nice. So, although, what those times tell me is that although Grand Valley has won all of these points, yeah, some of them took hard, a while. They're hard fought, and they really could go either way. Hey, get that tape off the court. They're not going to get it. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, so that's what especially that tells the first me. couple points of the game. Because when you, when you see a team. When you see a team. Oh, he made a catch! He's catching okay. out. He's dead first. No, he's dead first. Yeah. 6 0. Uh, touchdown for Grand Valley. Uh, looking for an extra point to end the game. Five yeah. minutes, 30 feeling, seconds left. I have a feeling they're not going to hit the extra point, but. No, I don't think so. The PAT's that, got harder now. So. It's, a, it's a result of moving it back. Oh. 
So, oh my God! I think we got a tripod. Just not. Just things aren't, aren't going Central's way. Yeah. Like, that was a catch for Ryan. He catches that ten times out of ten. Didn't grab it. Five minutes. Oh, my fault. I almost missed the bench. Mark. Oh! Oh, got him. Good hit before he got out, but he just got clipped in the shorts. Kevin, did something. Kevin you okay? He's fighting through it. <laughs> Looking for the catch. Ah, oh, hit down. Score is 6 0, Grand Valley. Oh, man, Brad Blair drops a catch. Oh, another drop catch. Central's gonna get this point. You know, you said that that I said that yeah. the last two points and it hasn't happened. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Back up. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my God! Brandon, Brandon, tell them to back up and go that way. We need, I can barely even get that on film. He's like, gotta back up so you can see it. Six zero Grand Valley in the lead. We have. Three minutes to go in the four minutes to go in the game. Uh, it hasn't been a nail biter, one would say. We're gonna have oh, oh, so well, Dan. almost got a catch out of that. We're gonna have to go back and watch, rewatch this, see how many catches Dan, uh, Ben Smart has. Yeah. Because I bar it's definitely double digits. Yeah, if I'm central mission, I'm never turning on this tape. Ever. <laughs> it just was a nightmare. Yeah, I'll chill. A little lull in the action here. Final game, College Dodgeball Nationals this weekend in Richmond, Virginia. We had 24 teams here, down to the final two. Uh, unless a miracle happens, um, I'm thinking Grand Valley is going to win this one, but still congrats to Central Michigan Three for making this left. far when you look at the schedule that they had to play today and how many tough games they had. They went into overtime against James. Oh, my gosh. Again. Another catch by Smart. Don't throw the ball at him. Three yeah. minutes! Oh, what a... Oh, oh my God! Again, that just... That it just catch. illustrates their... The, this Someone game. Someone make sure Jimmy gets a decent team photo after when they will. Team throw coming up. Nope. I'm sick. I couldn't... When does the dodgeball draft start? There is... Uh, Semi-professional dodgeball, it's called Elite Dodgeball, check it out. Uh, another one of the uh, organizations that is underneath uh, USA Dodgeball, along with the NCAA. Oh, oh next, made round, a next round for oh, Elite by will be May 5th in Baltimore. Yeah. For the East. Two minutes left. Eight, seven, nine, eight, ten, Catch, resets. Catch, resets the shot clock. So, Austin Bregge finally making his uh, impact on the game. Oh, oh man, he's pulling him out. Colin. Oh. He's calling him out. He rolled him a ball. He's calling out Austin Bregge. Will Ben Smart make another catch? Oh, my gosh. Better catch it with his shirt. One player remaining. Oh, and he got him. A suicide, you get the point. Shutout is averted. We got one minute, 20 seconds to go. At least Riley has to end it. It is six to one. We got a minute, 20 Grand seconds. Valley. Central gets to decide if they want to play or if they want to just shake hands. They are ending it. No. They are ending it. Yeah. So officially... Grand Valley won, so wins their six, six national championship in a row with six a score a of six to one. Six to one. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Wouldn't have been surprised if it was five point advantage the other way. Seeing yeah. That was honestly the last time they played. So these the first two points especially could have gone either way, and once Grand Valley.